Welcome to the Harnessing Your Divine Feminine Show, hosted by Andrea Bagby. We believe that when you give a woman an opportunity, you give her the world. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our videos. Hi, thank you for tuning in today to Harnessing Your Divine Feminine, the show where we give women opportunities to share their stories and their spiritual modalities and their healing. And today we have two of the most magical women I know coming to us from the inner space out of Atlanta, Georgia. They, you can find them at the innerspace.com. So I have Valerie Quill, who is, has been studying spirituality and metaphysics for over 30 years. And she comes to us and she also has a passion for jewelry making, stones and jewelry making. She's always interested in people's jewelry and how they're made. And I see her working all the time on her jewelry. And we have, um, so she also is an expert tarot reader. She's one of the best tarot readers I've ever met. And if you wanted to get life advice or wisdom from her after today's show, go to theinnerspace.com. And I have Cindy Sherwood with me. And she is a life coach, platform medium, and psychic. And she is full of wisdom. She has been studying for over 30 years as well, spirituality and metaphysics. And together, as all healers do, they have created something, which is amazing. That's what we're supposed to do. We take our gifts and we create. So they created the one of a kind that I know of healing system. And they're here to share that with us today. And I'm going to let them talk. Valerie, tell us more about yourself. Hi, I'm Valerie Quayle, and I have been working in metaphysics for 30 plus years. Let's just call it that. And um, I have been working for with jewelry, making my own since 2008. So Cindy and I met at the inner space, and she's interested in the tarot. So we had an immediate connection there. And one day she was talking about something that she had wanted to create for herself. And so we started making a system and I'm going to let her describe how it kind of came to life because she was really the brainchild of it, the mother of it and all that. I'm just kind of the person that helped her make it into physical form. So, well, thank you guys so much. My name is Cindy Sherwood and, um, in the late 90s, I was searching for connection. I was searching for a spiritual connection, something deeper than me, because flopping around on this earth, I was not doing very well at it. <laughs> so I took a um, leap of faith and I was going to a lot of churches, trying to find my way there, trying to find a spiritual connection and stuff just wasn't working like I wanted it to. I would feel it in music and stuff like that. I could feel something bigger growing in me. You know, mm -hmm. you have that little fire inside of you and you could feel it when music was playing and all that. But I wanted the communication. I wanted how, how do I myself get that feeling? How do I personally get that connection to where I can hear? Because they don't know what I need. Nobody knows what I personally need. All of us are so individual. So um, that's how it kind of started. I was, it was in the early 90s, like I said, and there wasn't any way to find this. So praying about it and reaching inside deep, I came up with how to, I always loved the rosary beads. Mm -hmm. I thought they were mm -hmm. um very special. People use them for healing. People use them all different ways. I am not a Catholic, but I loved what they represented for individuals because I would see people doing them before death, doing them when they were hurting. And I was like, wow, that's really, what is that? What is that? Why they have such a connection to something. Mm -hmm. And I knew but they would do it before they performed. I know some people that do it before they perform. And, but I didn't connect with the rosary beads. So I found something that I took your body, your spirit, and mine was God. Mine was my body, my spirit, and my God. And I wanted something that I could pray up 
and meet in the heart center and then fill it with the mysteries around it. Mm -hmm. And the mysteries around it is spirit. The mysteries around it is that falling into that connection. And when you have something that takes your ego mind away that you can hold, that you can use your mantras and you can just relax into, then spirit just takes over. (laughs) And that's what happens. So I, years later, I had made one and I was using it and it was working really well. Um, My aunt got sick and it wasn't as beautiful as these. It was just strings and, you know, praying up. My aunt got sick. So I gave her mine with my tool that I had made for it. it was very different back then. The words were very different back then. And then um, years later, I started working at the inner space with Valerie and Andrea. And we were, I was taking a Tarot 101 class that Andrea was, or that Valerie was teaching. And I've been doing Tarot for many, many years, but never think that you know it all because I learned so much in that mm-hmm. class, <laughs> so much in that class. Like you, I don't care if you've been doing something forever and ever, you can always learn something. Mm-hmm. So it was a time change. We both got there early. I swear it was divine timing. We both got there an hour early. And so Valerie was like, well, come sit in the car with me. We were sitting in the car chatting. Um, and she said, I have this house full of, I have a whole room full of jewelry making. I make jewelry. I have all these, all these tools. Um, why don't you come over and we'll have fun and we'll make something. Is there something you want to make? And I was like, <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> so I'm telling Valerie about it and I'm talking about it, what it looks like and what it is. And Valerie takes out this piece of paper and just starts. Then I was like, oh my God, yes, that's it. That's it, Valerie. Yes, that's what I want. And she was like, let's do it. And I could see her wheels turning as she was looking at me in the car thinking, I'm like, okay, yeah, you know, but I could see her wheels just ticking. And I was like, "Mm, all right. And so she's like, this is big. This could really be something I can see. She saw this huge picture of it that I didn't see. I was more, this was just mine. This was just something that I was using to, as they say, fall back and connect into something bigger than me. Mm -hmm. So other than that, yeah, then Valerie just took it over. I remember going home. We've written four I write them as I intuitively, spiritually get them. And then me and Valerie get together and we make them universal because my spiritual path is not everybody's spiritual path. It's not your spiritual path. Your spiritual path is different and that's fine. And these are universal to where I don't care what you are. It is your fire inside you. And that's what the modality of this is, is to build your fire. That's amazing. Thank you. And that is one of the reasons why community is so important, spiritual communities, because sometimes at the inner space, I'm always the one planning events and planning something with like six notebooks out and I'm writing. And then all of a sudden I'll hear Valerie in the next room chanting. And I'm like, that's awesome. Okay. That's good. That's we're we're all on the right track. There's someone chanting in the building because it does, it sort of radiates out to like all your whole space. Um, and I say chanting because I don't know, that's just the word sound right, sounded right. Um, <laughs> and you can, this is just why you need spiritual communities, you know, um, because you come together and you create things for the higher good and the, um, bigger purpose. And I've seen just amazing things come out of like the inner space and harnessing your divine feminine just with somebody going, I have an idea and I have an idea too. Let me help you with that. So what else goes in with this, Valerie? The thing that is the most important to me is, is knowing that what you're doing is going to give you a connection to your spiritual side, whether you expect it to or not. Okay. That's the, believe it, it works. Don't believe it. It still works. And what I was so impressed about it, because I have an attention span of an absolute gnat, (laughs) is that I could meditate and it takes five minutes to go through the system and you start getting connections almost immediately. The system is set up so that we ask that you make a 12, I mean a 15 day commitment, two weeks, all right? 
just to do it for two weeks and see what happens to you, see the difference that happens just by chanting these things that take five minutes to do and notice the differences. I have found that my connection starts just sometimes by picking up the system. I can feel it. Everybody feels their connection to their spiritual side. I call mine my spidey sense because I get something start to, to tingle in my head. Or sometimes it tingles in my body. Just all these different tingles that happen for me. That's my spidey sense. What's your spotty sense? It's going to be affected. And one of the things that we've heard is some people, as soon as they pick it up, they start to feel it because mm -hmm. you can actually make the system your own in such a way that it is tailored for you. What beads do you like? What crystals do you like? What, what colors do you like? All these things are important and anything that you need to, to guide you in that direction will help you find if we possibly can. And Cindy channeled all of these things for us and they're so beautiful and they work. And that's the main thing. So Cindy, this has been your life changing power of connection. Mm -hmm. And I know that you get messages. Mm -hmm. I get feelings, you get messages. Mm -hmm. So what has been some of your experience with it? So, yes, when we when we were doing them daily and uh, the commitment with them, I have gotten a couple messages that I, I will share. They are personal ones. Now, sometimes when you're doing the system and you get through it, um, you there is one of the mysteries is where you speak to your guides and ask your guide for a message. Um at first I would just get words. Sometimes I would get nothing, but then I would get the emotional feeling of everything's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. Um, but sometimes I would get grace. Sometimes I would just get one words, but I did get a lot of messages that I've written down and I'll share a couple with you. So one of them I got, um, and obviously it's always going to be personal for you. Um, you will proceed with higher awareness as you move and grow. The time for awakening is near as you have moved forward into your power. More is to come. Your dedication is not overlooked, but driven by us. We will be using you as a tool for a greater good, moving through the universe in a way of grace and ease. You need not do nothing more, but listen and be guided. Now, I have a whole notebook of messages like this, and I just can't express enough that if you are looking for something different, if you are looking, and not only that, but all these are handmade by us. <laughs> <laughs> these, are, these are not manufactured. We sit down on our couches, and mm -hmm. we pray, and we do these, and we know we open ourselves up, and each one is hand-wrapped and put together the actual chain on them. Everything has a numerology meaning. They're not just thrown together. No, they are a system. They, it is, uh, it's guided for you. If you have trouble concentrating on anything, you can spend five minutes to go through something and it's, it's going to activate something inside of you. And that connection will be felt in some way by you. And whether it happens like for me, it's my spidey sense. But I also, one of my, I have clairsentient, which is clair knowing. And that happens for me. And I get answers to questions that way. And one of the things that's happened after doing this over a year is that the answers are coming whether I'm using the system or not. So yeah. I know that that's being activated inside of me. So I am going to get more the more I use it. And that's, you know, it's nice to know that what you're doing is working for you. And it's, it's nice to know that what you feel is true. And it's nice to know that it's not affected by anything but what you have put into it. You are the one that is controlling all of the systems because you do it when you want to. You do it and it's done. It's, it's activated and it's going to keep working whether you're working with it or not. And that's the beauty of the system, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, so how it 
kind of works is you have body and we give a consultation of we will get together with on Zoom to figure out what what charm for you would want for your spirit and your source, your God, whatever you want to use, because the charms are very important because they have to be specific for you. And then the, there's five in there in the mystery circle. There's five in chains and everything because it is for change because you're always growing. You're always learning. You're always awakening and moving, just healing. And it's like set up where heal me, love me, teach me are the main ones. And then you hit the mystery beads, which is what you're focusing on. And then you can use the, um, it's like we use, so it is, but you can use amen. You can use mode it be, you can use whatever you want, whatever modality is yours to solidify the, um, I guess, mantra. The intention is the intention, set up yeah. by each of the runs, so to speak. Um, yeah. And it's delightful and fun. And that's, if you're going to meditate, it needs to be fun as far as I'm concerned, because I, I, like I said, I don't have an attention span that's going to last long. And so I want something that's going to keep me interested and this will keep me interested. And if I could commit to five minutes a day, that's more than it. A lot of people can commit to anything sometimes, but sometimes it's all you have. And that's where you need to go. Mm -hmm. So most empaths and psychics, we have about 25 windows open in our brain at the same time, all the time, 24 hours a day. People come to me and they want to learn psychic development or they want to learn how to meditate. And the reality is our pathways in our brain, we need a focus. Like we need something to hold in our hand and focus. And I think that this is a wonderful way to do that. It does kind of take the rules of traditional meditation away, which it should, because we're always allowed to grow and change in those, in those rules. And it gives you a chance to get out of your, um, like ego mind. So you can get to the, like spirit is always speaking to you. Spirit never mm-hmm. stops speaking to us. That's right. But it gets buried under all the, all the worldly things, you know, and that's why we walk around with like, like no solutions, right? And feeling stuck. And most of the time, the messages from spirit are fairly simple. Just as you said, your message was do nothing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. and, but yeah. you couldn't get to that without being able to hold something and to focus on something and to have a script. And scripts are rituals. And this is a ritual. And rituals are very, very grounding. We need rituals whatever ritual you wish to participate in, um, they're not bad. Like religious rituals are not bad. They really simply ground us. It's a prayer using your body. And this is a prayer using your mind, body, and spirit. Um, so, and I love it. So these are one of a kind. Like you're not going to get these reproduced. You're not going to find them on a mass marketplace. Um, it's literally, um, you know, when you get a healing you typically will take the energy of the healing home, but you won't have anything to like remind your brain of it. Right. So you get, you have this healing and then like the consultation is going to be a healing anyway, because you are literally consulting with healers and then you're going to get it in your hands. And it's something that's going to last forever. Right. Like your whole life, you can have it when you're not using it. You put it on your altar Um, and then when you feel like you want to use it, I like just to hold it and like fidget with it, especially if there's like a moment of high anxiety. Um, it just gives you something to hold that has like a positive vibration. Um, and it gives you that, um, and then your brain will remember everything that went, the, everything that you processed with it. And so it connects your brain and it helps you get to like underneath the crap that's in our heads all the time. Um, So what kind do we have out here? We have various different kinds. You go ahead. Go ahead. (laughs) Okay, I'll start. (laughs) Yeah. Um, We, each of the systems is set up where it is got a symbol for what represents you or something that's very important to you. This one is, is representing the self, the body. Okay. And it's a crystal. And 
That's the body. This is for spirit. What represents spirit to you? And then source, whatever represents your idea of source. Who is who is that for you? We have this one. The spirit is a lion. Um, the source is the sun and the moon with a moonstone. To, and it complements the other beads that are included in the system. This one has a heart in the center of it that's very profound and, and easy to see. So that's your heart connection. But this one also has a place where you could put whatever you want as a spirit for you. Uh, one of my clients has put the sands of Hawaii in one of the vials. So that, that's her spirit. And then the sun is there for source. So it just depends on what resonates with you. So they're very different and they're going to be personalized for you. Or if you want, we can help you figure out uh, which one is going to work the best for you. And some of them are just going to appeal to you because that's my symbol. I know it. So I want that. It's very easy for you to figure out what is going to work for you pretty quickly. And if you don't have a, have that guidance, Cindy and I will be more than happy to provide it for you as part of the package. Mm -hmm. Also, one of the things that you get with the package is, is we go through and set it up and tell you what you should be expecting from the system after you're using it um, for the first 15 days. There should be an expectation, what you can have an expectation of sensation, spirit messages, that sort of thing. So you will be given some guidance as far as that goes. We have four different ones, right? The, mm -hmm. yeah. We, we have four different ones. Do you mm -hmm. want to identify them or you want me to? Go ahead. All right. <laughs> uh, the systems, one we have is the basic system and it's for understanding and service. And this is, allows you to ask your guides for guidance. And if you hear messages, this would definitely be a system that you would be very interested in obtaining. Then we have one for wealth and abundance. A lot of people, that's going to be their main focus is, is what can I do to increase my wealth and abundance? And that's set up entirely for that. And it's got such a beautiful resonating tone to it. To me, your frequency, as soon as you start using it, is going to go up and you're going to attract what you want. And if it's wealth and abundance, then that's what's going to come to you. The, then we have one for physical vitality, helping to repair your body. If you're going through some physical ailments or you, there's something that you want to, to be able to understand about your body. I like to use that because I have a hard time sometimes hearing what's going on or understanding what's going on in my body. Um, I don't resonate so much with it's, it's like I can stump my toe, but you know, do I'm feeling my stumping my toe. Why did I stump my toe? That would help me with physical vitality. That system is going to help me get more incorporated with my physical person itself. And then the last one is going to be for psychic activation. If you want to increase your clairs, all of them are mentioned in the system, and you will go through an activation process by using that particular system. Mm -hmm. So it's basically, what do you like? What works for you? And we're going to help you expand it. Do we want to do it? Why not? I think we should do it. And everyone can listen to this over and over and you'll get like a little healing every time. Okay. Which one are we doing? Let me get, yeah, let's get my outline. Then we could show how it works. Yeah. You want to pick yeah. one to use? All right. I'm going to pick one to use Andrew. Yeah. I love this blue. <laughs> I look at this all the time at, at the store. I'm like, oh. So we're going to demonstrate so we can show, because it's for everyone. It's non-denominational. And they're not rosary beads. And we're going to show you why and how. Um. This one is my particular personal one that I'm um, uh, one of the first ones that I made. I have a thing about copper, so that's why you can see a lot of copper in it. 
And the system that we're going to be doing today is understanding and service. And this is the one where you can actually ask for guidance and then that allows that door to be open for you. Mm -hmm. And you hold each one um, and it kind of gives, when you get it, you get a, a reference tool and it'll tell you what to hold and how to move up your beads. So you're holding the three little stems from it. Yes. That's first. what you're holding. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's mind, body, and spirit. And it's represented by the charms that you feel guided. Yes. Yes, you get it. Okay. So I'm going to let the two of you start. So mm -hmm. I'm holding it. Like if I'm sitting there and I'm in meditation or I have a, I have a challenge in life, I'm going to, I'm going to hold it and I'm going to say, okay, spirit, I'm going to use the guided, the understanding and service one. Mm -hmm. And you can get a copy of this, a printout of this if you wish. Okay. Um, just, fun. just to, when you get the kit, you get not only the reference tool, you'll get step-by-step -step instructions for it, but you will also get uh, the an outline for what you should be using on a day-to-day -day basis where you can actually write down your um, experience, all right? But you'll also get the reference tool for the system that you decide on, the overall instructions, and the day-to-day -day ex expectations. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go. Start with the first charm, the body, holding the body charm. I surrender, I surrender my, my human self and ask, ask for my body to be a clear receiver of wisdom and guidance from the purest positive love and light. Surround me in the white light of divine love. You move up to the single bead. Divine, divine guide me, keep me, keep me safe, safe and, and strengthen, strengthen my gifts. gifts. And then you'll move up to the three. Divine, Fine, hear my plea to heal me, love me, teach me. Divine, hear my plea to heal me, love me, teach me. Divine, hear my plea to heal me, love me, teach me. And so it is. And then you go to spirit. Your spirit charm. Spirit, Spirit, shine through me with your, your golden, golden light. light. And you go up to the first big B. Fill me Fill with, me with your, your glory. glory. Guide, Guide me with your all-knowing wisdom. wisdom. Spirit, Spirit, hear my plea to heal me, love me, teach me. Spirit, hear my plea to heal me, love me, teach me. Spirit, hear my plea to heal me, love me, teach me. And, and so, so it is. is. Then you'll go to your source. Source, source I, am I am ready to do your work. work. Go to your single B. Source, I surrender myself to your guidance. Open my eyes and heart so I can be a conduit for you. Source, hear my plea to heal me, love me, teach me. Source, hear my plea to heal me, love me, teach me. Source, hear my plea to heal me, love me, teach me. And so it is. Go up to the heart connection. The integration of my body, spirit, and source is ready to receive answers and guidance, raising my awareness for the evolution of myself and my soul. And then you'll go to the mysteries. Life is the first one. May all my lessons be experienced with ease and grace. Open me to allow abundance to flow. Keep me safe and strengthen my gifts to do the greatest service to myself, you, and all those that I may help in whatever capacity they may need. Divine, Divine, heal me, me, love me, teach me. Divine, heal 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 me, love me, teach me. And so, and so it, it is. is. We go to emotions. Divine, I, I surrender my emotions to be controlled, controlled and, and guided by, by my higher self. This, this will allow me to see the path that leads to the beauty and the best use of my emotions for myself 
and all those that I may help in whatever capacity they may need. Divine, heal me, love me, teach me. 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 And so it is. I'm going to go to your guides. Guides, guides. clear Clear my heart and and mind so that I see, hear, know, and feel the path, answers, and and guidance I seek. Tell Tell me what I need to know about. Divine, hear hear my plight. Heal me, love me, teach me. Divine, 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 heal me, love me, teach me. And so it is. Go to love. Love. I open my heart. I am open to this divine flow of love. I feel feel the wonder, the peace, the the everlasting energy of that that love, and my my gratitude knows no bounds. I am am guided to joy and happiness. Divine, heal me, love me, teach me. 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 And so it is. Ready? My union of body, spirit, and source is complete. I am open to receive understanding, knowledge, wisdom, and clarity of all mysteries. I am allowing a clear channel to flow through me for the growth of myself and others. Bring forth all beings and hearts ready to be moved and healed and eyes ready to be opened. I am ready to deliver your messages with clarity and compassion. Divine, heal me, love me, teach me. 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 And so it is. When you go through the system, it's wise for you to ground yourself. You can repeat it as many times as you want, but bear in mind, you're wide open right now. I am, I'm vibrating really, really high. So what we recommend is that you ground yourself with the following. Keep me safe. Strengthen my gifts. Help Help me me to to retain retain compassion and understanding. And so it is. And that's how long it takes and how quick it is. And you get faster and faster. As you do it. Um, You're going to be doing this probably by yourself. So it might not have the awkwardness that it feels like we're (laughs) trying to to stay in everybody else's rhythm because you're doing it at your rhythm and your pace. But if you can commit this five minutes a day, Mm -hmm. you will receive rewards like you wouldn't believe. Um, I have noticed the as I was saying before, the knowing, the knowing part. It's like I get my answers immediately when I ask questions now. It's, it's, it's really nice and it's comforting. And that's the big thing. And, and it's allowing me to see what I need to do and what helps my body and what works for me. Mm-hmm. Individually, it's very, it's very individual and Spirit knows what you need. Your higher self knows what you need. And it is just a way to open yourself up to allow that connection. Really? That's all it is. It is. That was so beautiful. Thank you so much. You can also get these on connecttoguidance.etsy.com. Connect to guidance on Etsy. Yep. It's easy to find. And so this just gives us a way to... um Connect and connect psychically and connect your own healing. Also, I think that it gives you a way to clear out your chakras, clearing out your chakras. Mm -hmm. So there's many different, there's many different styles. I got the blue. I grabbed it because that's what I was guided to grab at the time to do the system again. And they're great for gifts. 
Oh my goodness, this is a great gift to give someone. I'm glad you mentioned about the chakras, Andra, because I have never felt my solar plexus until I started using this system. And that's where my I remember that day. Is. It was like, <laughs> oh my God, what was that? <laughs> but it was just thrilling. It, and it was. It, it's just been a thrilling experience for me. So I'm glad to be a part of it. Oh, I wouldn't be here without you. That's for sure. <laughs> so, yes, to find more of these ladies, both of these ladies, the innerspace.com, they do in person and phone. They can literally read for you wherever you are in the country. Um, so when you do the pendulum, do they get this too? If they need it, yes, they can get it. If they don't, what we recommend doing is if you have a system and you want to see how it will increase your frequency, I don't know if, if, you, if everyone is familiar with David Hawkins system of frequencies, the numbers that they are. We have a chart where you can actually hold one of the systems and use a pendulum and it will tell you what this will increase your frequency to by the use of it. And so we can provide this for you if you ask for it, but this will tell you if that system, if you use it, what Oh, mine's telling me that mine, this will raise my, um, frequency to 500, which is love. That's pretty sweet. Mm -hmm. And we would do this for you at the consultation. Yes, we would. Yes. Yes. So is there anything else today that you would, you need to share about your lives or about your stories that might help somebody that's listening? I... I, I just want to say this. Cindy was talking about you never stop learning. And that's one of the reasons that the metaphysical world is, I think, is so appealing to everybody is, is there's always something new coming to you and a new way to learn and get information. And this is one of the first things that I've ever done that just totally is committed to me learning about me. And so if you're interested in delving more into yourself then I highly recommend this for you. I'm going to give it a try. And I guess what I can say is I talked about the little fire inside you. I remember growing up and I love the song, This Little Light of Mine. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a good song. Love, this Little good Light song. of Mine, yeah. I'm going to let it shine. You know, I don't know if you remember it, if I didn't, whatever. <laughs> um, but anyway, I was always looking for that light. I wanted that light so badly. And it, especially in times we're in now, um, that light, some of you know it's there. It's a spark. Some of you don't know it's there. It is there. It's just out right now. These are meant to fire you up and just open, open that flame inside of you. And that flame is the connection between, is your connection to spirit and source. So yeah, um, I am honored to share it with everybody who wants to take a delve into it and try it out and yeah so really that's it replay the system keep getting the healing spread it everywhere so it just has this amazing ripple effect just like these two ladies have amazing ripple effects throughout our universe and yes so what i can say it is um it's worth it to call them or visit them or get a consultation and it is the innerspace.com hydf.online, everywhere we can, all these people know where we are, all of us. So, <laughs> yes. Um, so thank you for listening or watching today. And remember harnessing your divine feminine and give a woman an opportunity today. Thank you. The thank Harnessing you. Your Divine Feminine show is produced by 8 Robinsons TV. Subscribe for only $30 per year for access to exclusive and archived content. Visit www.the8robinsons.tv. Thank you for watching.